Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another really cool figure to take a look at. This is one that I was very hyped for, for, I'd say about a year now, honestly, because it took me a while to get a hold of it. But this is the Mojo Fun Coelacanth, and this is a figure that I thought looked fantastic when they first unveiled it. I thought it was probably one of the best versions of a Coelacanth that is out currently, and honestly, having it here in person, I absolutely still feel the same way. It looks great. Mojo Fun has has just improved leaps and bounds over the last few years. It's honestly insane how much they've improved. And I feel like this Coelacanth is definitely yet another really good example of how much they've improved. Because when you go back to their older figures, even when you go back to like their older marine species and just look at how far they've come, it's really quite astounding. But this Coelacanth looks really good yet again. Definitely another nice looking figure from them. They haven't released too many over the last few years, but the ones that they have released least have been a massive upgrade in quality so let's jump to a closer look at this coelacanth right now so starting up here at the head sculpt look at how nice that looks you can see so much really really nice fine detail in the head sculpt of that coelacanth i think the only even slight negative to what i can see here is the fact that the eye paint is a little bit sloppy but as far as the actual sculpt in detail goes, absolutely one of the most impressive sculpts from Mojo Fun that we've ever seen. Like, that is just gorgeous fine detail. You can see the nostrils sculpted out right there. The mouth of the coelacanth is opened up. You can see a nice naturalistic tone of color in there. And some pretty decent detail, you know. It doesn't have, like, insane detail on the inside of the mouth, but you really wouldn't expect a whole lot. But it looks really good for what we have in there and what we can see. The eye is, of course, painted with a black, given a very nice gloss coat to it. And the entire figure, although you can see, has a bluish tone, like a you know, uh, coelacanth should. It also has some slight variation of color, as you can see some darker tones of color, but it's so subtle with the way it's applied, it's almost hard to pick up exactly where you see the transitions. You can see a little bit of it here in the face. As you move back here into the body of our coelacanth, you start to see that patterning pick up that we again see on coelacanth, as we have all the sorts of uh, white spots and designing going on. Looks really, really good. You can kind of make out the gills and everything as you move back as you move down here into the fins you can see again the actual sculpt and detail is super vibrant really really well done and the fins themselves have again really nice fine detail to those as well not really a whole lot of color variation going on down here on the fins but they look really nice you can see a little bit of that darker coloration starting there as you lead out into the fin and then it lightens to that lighter blue and as you lead up here into the side of our coelacanth you can see how much larger the scales are and everything moving along i think the only thing that could have maybe improved the figure would have been some sort of a dark wash to kind of creep in and out of all of those scales but that's just something that's kind of minor. I just feel like as a whole, a dark wash would have highlighted the detail overall of the fish very nicely. You can see up here as well, again, the fin is sculpted really, really beautifully. Lots of fine detail to be found. As you continue to move along, all the other fins are present. All of them kind of painted in similar fashion, but this one looks like it's actually a little bit darker than what you see on this one. So maybe a slight difference in color than uh, what you see from fin to fin there. But again, the detailing looks really good and the actual quality of the figure itself is really impressive as well, again, with it just jumping off of the sculpt as nicely as it does. And then as you lead out into the tail, you can see the tail again looks great. You have a little bit of waviness to the tail fin as well, which adds a nice dose of realism. And you can see more of that variation as I kind of move it here and allow the light to hit it. You can see more of the variation of color as you have the lighter blues and the darker blues there kind of meshing so nicely and we continue to have that kind of white sort of designing as you move through and you can see again the fish for the most part doesn't really have a whole lot going on as far as the pose but you can very clearly see that it's just kind of swimming along the first part of the coelacanth is kind of straightforward but as you lead back here you can see that really nice curve where you can obviously see that the coelacanth is swimming along I do still have this tag on here. I forgot to remove it. So let me pull that off really quickly. There we go. We can now get a nice look at the opposing side. You can see the eye is painted a little bit nicer over here. The other eye wasn't super sloppy or anything, but there's definitely a little bit more precision on this side. But as you move back, you can, again, see almost the same thing on this side compared to what we had seen on the initial side. Not a whole lot of difference as far as the 
pose or positioning doesn't look too different you can see the fins for the most part are in the same spot obviously with the swimming motion this fin is kind of leaning here and it's not until you get to kind of like these uh, the second fins here that you sort of see the turn begin to pick up for the body here of the coelacanth and you can see even in a really nice curvatures to this fin up here again showing how it's just swimming through the water but again the actual sculpt and detail looks absolutely beautiful on this side just like we had seen on the initial side as you move out into the tail I think this is the only area of the figure that I can say is a downside because they've actually branded it here on the side whereas even though it's thin I feel like they still could have branded it on the underside where it wouldn't be in such an obnoxious spot so uh, it would have been a little bit more out of the way that is a little bit of a downside something that hopefully mojo fun doesn't do in the future because it definitely takes away from the figure a little but if you move it away you don't notice it so much it kind of blends in because the coloration of that area is a little bit darker so it's not the end of the world but definitely something that uh, they could improve upon by not doing that in the future and obviously this is definitely the superior side of the coelacanth but definitely again really really well done considering it's a mojo fun release i feel like they're just super underrated and people often overlook them but hopefully this last string of figures i've reviewed with the woolly rhino the woolly mammoth and now the coelacanth will begin to change the minds of uh some of you guys and maybe more people will start to take a chance on the mojo fun line because they could very quickly and very easily become one of the top prehistoric figure producing companies honestly i would not even argue with the fact that i would say they're already there but not everybody sees it that way but hopefully these figures will start to kind of turn some heads into the direction of mojo fun as far as a size goes for our coelacanth, there's not a whole lot that you're really going to find in the way of a height. So we have it up here on the PNS, so pegs to kind of get a better look at it. But you're looking at lengthwise uh, a little over, almost actually at five and three quarter inches. It's approaching it, but not quite there. Or around 14 and a half, a little over 14 and a half centimeters. Again, approaching 15, but not quite there. So... It's honestly pretty much where I expected it to be size-wise, and to show you that for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Mojo Fun Coelacanth, and you can see again, by no means is it a massive figure, fairly small overall, but pretty much where you would expect it to be. We've also got a Mattel Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus here stepping in next to our Coelacanth for yet another comparison. As well as a nice little gathering of randoms with the Schleich Diabloceratops hiding back there, but also the Safari LTDU Tyrannus and Collect a Deluxe Dimetrodon next to our Mojo Fun Coelacanth. But here is the comparison that I feel like is probably going to be most helpful for you guys as we have the Safari LTD version of the Coelacanth next to the Mojo Fun version. And you can see they are pretty similar in size, definitely not far off from each other overall. So if you happen to have the Safari LTD version, you're very much so going to have a pretty good idea of the size of the Mojo Fun version. So this 2022 release of the Mojo Fun Coelacanth is definitely another really, really beautiful figure from Mojo Fun. Honestly, if they could keep up with this type of quality but increase the amount of releases that they have, they would easily be one of my favorite companies out there because I feel like they're doing such a stellar job and I'm honestly like dying at this point to see what they're going to be releasing for 2024, which isn't too far off before we start finding out. But uh, again, I just really am keeping my fingers crossed. We get a little bit more this year because they've been a little lackluster as far as the amount of releases that they've had. I guess it's probably due to the entire COVID situation and how that affected all of these different companies. I don't think Mojo Fun has fully recovered quite yet because they were pumping out a lot of releases pre-COVID and now it seems like they're really not. Like They've definitely slimmed down their releases drastically. So maybe this coming year we'll be able to get a little bit more out of them because we've only had one to two releases per year of prehistoric figures. And again, as I've said a few times recently, Recently, no dinosaurs in quite a while from Mojo Fun, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that we get some dinosaurs for next year. But this coelacanth is again a really nice figure of a species that you would think we would get more figures of, even though I guess technically 
We've got a few out there, but not near as many as you might think, especially considering the fact that the coelacanth is still alive today. You kind of would expect us to get more figures of it, but unfortunately, we really don't. But again, this one is really well done. You've got a gorgeous, very highly detailed sculpt. Maybe one of, if not the most impressive sculpts that I've seen from Mojo Fun when it comes to the fine detail. Because when you actually get this figure in a nice light and look at it up close, it's actually pretty mind-blowing how impressive the detailing aspect is like it is very very well done and uh, on top of that you've got some pretty cool paint apps for it pretty much replicating the coelacanth as nicely as you would expect and i think they've done a good job of adding in a little variation of color just to kind of mix it up for the figure and we've got a nice pose as it's swimming along nothing over the top or unnatural just a nice you know swimming pose as our coelacanth is just taking a little stroll so as a whole again a massive improvement from older mojo fun and definitely another gorgeous release from them so if you are interested and picking one of these up for yourself. I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on Everything Dinosaur because that is exactly where I purchased mine. So a massive recommendation from me for both the Coelacanth and Everything Dinosaur. So make sure you check that link. Go grab this awesome Coelacanth and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.